Is the video team ready? Bueno, hola, hola. Buenas tardes a todos y a todas. Gracias por venir a la DEFCON. Quería daros la bienvenida a la ciudad de Cáceres y agradecer todo el apoyo y, y todo vuestro esfuerzo que demostráis en desarrollar Debian para regalárselo al mundo. Espero que esto sea una DEFCON muy buena para todos y, y nada, por mi parte solo daros la bienvenida y que disfrutéis de esta semana. Muchas gracias.
Perhaps I had this dream that I was standing in Osaka. There was a geisha and a refugee. Deep down in her pocket, there was a tarnished silver locket, and the picture frame had always been empty. She takes that refugee to town, keeps her eyes down on the ground as if she's waiting for the earth to open up. The geisha had man into the cauldrons of Japan beneath the streets that only serve to keep the gravity at bay. She talks, I sleep again. I did not hear a thing. Oh, I did not hear a thing. Oh. I had this dream. There were two star-crossed teenage lovers trying to keep their secrets safe from everyone. As if the parents ever learned this, they would slash and they would burn this, and everything they know would be undone. So they hid beneath the bleachers, out of view from all the teachers, as the marching band played "Hail to the Team." It was the last game of the season. They were shaking, they were freezing. There was nothing but their bodies in between. She talks, I sleep walking on. I did not hear a thing. Oh, I did not hear a thing. Why am I? Why am I asleep? She's wide awake. So why am I? Why am I asleep? Once I had this dream that I could see inside your mind, and all the mysteries unraveled like a thread. Once I had this dream. That I could see inside my own mind, past the island walls inside my head, and it all was making sense as I let go of my defenses and I saw the world for what it really was. And I opened up my eyes to see the end of the disguise, but I was blind before I even saw the thing.
Hello, everybody. Welcome to Cáceres. We are very proud of having you here, and we are also very happy to host DevConf 9. And here I would like to thank everybody for their efforts and all our sponsors also. But I will also like to give a big applause to Anto because he did a great job here. So please. I have nothing more to say. Just feel like if you were at home. So welcome home. As Cesar just said, we want to thank Anto and him particularly for doing a lot of work. They've, they started at least two years ago when we had DevConf in Edinburgh. They were there trying, presenting, bidding to have the conference here. And since then, they've been working, maybe not, not, not 24 hours a day, but about 20 hours a day, we'll say, um, to make the conference happen here. There's also many other people who've been working, many of whom have worked, like, been doing work on DevConf for, for, for years, like uh, Ganev here, who's hiding at the back. Um, but also, people, even some people who can't actually be at DevCon have been dedicating their lives over the last few months. For example, Marga, who's stuck in Argentina, and uh, Mr. Beige, a mysterious guy who a lot of you hopefully will meet next year, but who's currently um, teaching in New York. Um, there's a lot of other people who, the normal suspects really for a DevCon, you'll probably see a lot of these people hiding in the, the various uh, server rooms and cupboards around the place, uh, trying to keep away from the ordinary attendees. But uh, anyway. We've got, again, an amazing attendance this year from at least 40 different countries with people confirmed that they'll come to DevConf. This is the little graph. I don't know if you can read the, the labels here of, um, yeah, you might have to turn your heads, um, <laughs> of the countries with the most attendees. Um, there's a worrying number coming from Germany, so I really think <laughs> you, need, you need to go, the rest of you need to go back to your own countries and try to recruit more Debian people there uh, to balance out these numbers a bit. Um, unsurprisingly, a lot of people from Spain, um, a few people from the UK, some of us have left the UK to try and reduce that number as well. Um, a few, quite a lot from the US, France, Austria, big Venezuelan contingent, Switzerland, Brazilians, Argentinians again, Belgium, Finland, Italy, Japan, Mexico, Australia, Bosnia, Denmark, Hungary, Ireland, Netherlands, and Portugal, and a lot of other countries with maybe one or two people each. The other thing, again, as has been mentioned, we really need to, all of us need to appreciate that DebConf in its current form wouldn't be able to happen if we didn't have so much support from a lot of different companies who sponsor DebConf who all obviously find that DebConf is, or that Debian is useful to them in some way. And they really think that DebConf is a useful thing to their, to their different companies for different reasons. Some of them produce devices with Debian. Some of them produce products based off Debian. Again, most, a lot of these names will be familiar to you. We've also had a, a good support this year from the local government and in other institutions um, within Spain. I don't know whether... Um, yeah, I would like to thank the Junta de Extremadura, the Ayuntamiento de Cáceres, Cenatic, and also I would like to thank Cáceres 216 and all our, our local sponsors that gave us a lot of help, not only money, they gave us almost everything we needed. Especially I would like to thank also to Telefónica because they are they are letting us use their internet connection, so everything was ready in like 10 days. So I would like to thank them especially also. The only other thing to add at the moment, I think, is that a, few, a couple of practical details. Basically, for any practical information, check the website. Check, there's, a lot, there's some information about some of the less official aspects on, on the wiki page as well. And of course, oh, as ever, stay on IRC. I'm sure quite a few of you are on IRC just now. Uh, I can't quite see. Uh, the other thing, there are two main talk rooms. If you're here, you found the upper talk room. There's also a lower talk room. And there's another room which is 
if you're staying in this building, it's near where the bedrooms are, which is the bathroom. Um, every day that we've got breakfast for, for people with sponsored food, most of you, of course, probably won't see breakfast, but maybe, maybe one or two days you can uh, get up in time. Uh, talks in the morning. Uh, a new development for DevConf this year, we have after lunch a siesta period, uh, which hopefully you'll appreciate. <laughs> we then have a few more talks in the evening, followed by dinner, and I'm, I'm sure you'll be able to find some things to amuse yourself long into the night after that. And the only other thing for me to add, at least, is to say thank you to you all for coming, because DevConf is obviously a conference that wouldn't make any sense if we didn't have so many different people attending. A lot of you have already been here for the Deb Camp period. I hear there's been a lot of good work done to improve Debian already, and I hope that that will carry on through the next week. Thank you all for coming. <laughs>